All right, guys. This is what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a super, super short little uh, little video. I'm gonna explain some things how I feel about War Z, um, the game past, present, future. All right. So basically, sum it up. This game came out uh, October of two years ago. Um, it's gonna be going on three. And uh, this game initially came out in alpha. It came out right after DayZ became a big hype. And let me say this, guys. This game was the first true alpha I've ever played. And it was phenomenal. This game had every possible thing you could want in a game. Like, literally. It had the PvP element. It had the horror element. It had the exploration element. It had the survival element. It had the... Just everything. This game was phenomenal. I mean, there were things in this game I never even knew existed in the game. Like... Okay, I've always been a huge MMOer, so I've always had the whole experience of playing with other people. But this game brought a new experience for me. Normally when you play MMOs, you're playing either completely against the other people in PvP, or you're playing with them in PvE. In this game, it was like, you don't know what you were doing. You didn't know if you were running into a guy and he was really friendly, or if he was an enemy, or if he was a friendly, and you were killing him, and it was, it was just a whole bunch of different things, and it was amazing. And I remember my first experience with this game... Me and my best friend, Force, were playing it. We both had flashlights, and we ran into a group of, I think it was like two people, and we flashlighted them to death. It was awesome. It was my first time I think I ever, like, really experienced, like, you know, killing somebody on site. I didn't even know what killing on site was. So anyway, long story short, we started meeting some people, started, like, you know, learning the game and shit. Over the course of, like, a couple months, you know, the game turned into a very buggy hacker infested I mean the game had beyond its issue of problems but still was a fun game and we still played it War Z in a nutshell is I think the best game I've ever played in my life guys like god from the moment it came out up until even right now I still love the game with all my heart aside from all the hackers the bugs the exploits the lies the manipulations the lack of this in the game the Every single problem this game still is, I think, one of the best games ever. So basically, to sum up this game, guys, it's a great game. I recommend it to anybody. Like, regardless of all the initial reviews, the reviews, you know, even current reviews. I still can't believe people are still reviewing this game. This is kind of one of the reasons they may want to do it. But even the current reviews, guys, like, it's still giving poor reviews. Basically, you have, I don't know, a Rhino Crunch Freaking dude spawns into a, the, one of the highest pop servers with nothing. What do you think is going to happen, man? Of course he's not going to enjoy the game. Of course he's not going to have a great experience. Like, it just blows my mind when people do that and then review it based off that. It's like, come on, guys, really? So, basically, guys, I recommend this game to anybody. I love this game all my heart. Like I was saying before about when the game first came out, it was amazing. It was a great feeling, so on, so on. The game slowly evolved into not even a survival game, but... Like, literally, straight up, this game has evolved into... <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just PvP. This game is straight up PvP. There's no exploration. There's no survival aspect. It's just straight up PvP. And I like that. I mean, I'm still cool with it being like that. I wish it was the way it was, but this game's still amazing to me. And this game, I think, brings out... I don't want to say the worst in people, but this game is a very... It brings out the competitive aspect in nature of people. And I think that's why this game is so PvP orientated now, you know? Like, you never run into somebody and say, Hey, are you friendly? You want to go team up? That just doesn't happen anymore. And when you do do that, you're fucking around. Let's be real here. So, yeah, guys. Basically, I love this game then. I love this game a year ago. I love this game still to this day. This game's great. Give it a try if you haven't tried it out yet. Uh, the, the name's War Z. Well, they changed it to Infestation Survivor Stories, but this game's a great game. I just wanted to give us like a small little kind of my aspect on it, a little review. Um, yeah, the game's great, guys. Like, I don't, I don't know why people knock it. I don't know why people talk shit about it. It's funny, even the people that still play this game today are like, "Oh, this game's terrible. It's the worst game ever." But yet they still play it. Like, my honest opinion is, I think if this game would have a proper anti-g, anti-hack, whatever you want to call it. I think this game would just flourish, man. Like, this game at one point, no exaggeration, this game at one point had a consecutive 200,000 people playing it at all times. There was 250 servers of EU and NA, and they were always full at all times. That's, how, that's what this game initially was. And obviously it's died down significantly since then. But, 
I think if they implemented a proper anti-cheat, I think so many people would come back. You have some of the biggest streamers to date that started out with this game. I mean, Dakota, he's not one of the biggest streamers, but he's become a very, very well-known popular streamer because of War Z. Zombie Barricades, same thing. Summit, one of the biggest streamers in all of Twitch currently. War Z. Uh, Lyric, yeah, Lyric was before War Z, but War Z really bumped up Lyric. Uh, even Tally admits that he gained a lot of popularity from War Z. This game has just like done so much for the community. It's done so much for the gaming world overall. It's had its ups, its downs, its negatives. I mean, Sergey made this whole post the other day about like you know what they did wrong and stuff, and like I don't know if he's sincere or not, but I agree with like 90% of what this dude said. First of all. They had bad PR from the start. I don't know what they were thinking with that whole Steam incident. How can you come out with a game and sit there and tell people there's features that aren't in it and let them purchase that? Right there from the get-go that kind of shot them in the foot. And then, <laughs> this is the thing that gets me the most. This game, guys, initially had no hackers in it. None. Zero. What happened was, a lot of hackers were starting to do the whole CSGO thing, um... Uh, Swotar, uh, WoW, uh, hackers were starting to attack games like that. And Sergey came out and had an interview and they said, hey, you know, what do you think of hackers? Sergey said, and I quote, hackers are scum. They're nothing but faggots. I dare them to try to hack my game. My game's unhackable. Well, guys, the rest is history. This game is now riddled with hackers. Um, unfortunately, that's part of the game. You know, I mean, it sounds really bad to a person that's probably going to try to, you know, view this, but... Long story short, guys, aside from the hacking, which you can get over, it's a fun game, guys. The PvP is fluent. The guns are phenomenal. The art is really gorgeous in the game. I mean, the whole world itself is beautiful. Like, I wish I could seriously, like, go out and just do videos all day long of exploring the map. In fact, I think I'm going to start doing that, to be honest, because the map is gorgeous, guys. Like, I was looking, I was going through the uh, railroad station in Caliwood the other day. Beautiful. It is such a shame that that will never be used because they've spent so much time detailing it, putting in like amazing PvP elements, amazing looting elements. Like, guys, the game is so beautiful. Oh my god. There's so much they could do with this game, guys. There really is. But uh, anyway, getting sidetracked here. Guys, I recommend this game to anybody. It's a great game. I love this game all my heart. Um, it's unfortunate what happened with it. I still think this game has promise. I still think this game has... Uh, you know, a chance, but uh, yeah, just wanted to give a little side review, a little little input, Raziel's input, guys, I'm playing this game since, you know, Alpha, I have many legendary accounts, I have many assassins, paragons, uh, like, I, I was one of the first people to get assassin in this game, well, at the time, it was called Villain, it was before assassin was the highest, I was, I was the first person to get paragon in this game, like, guys, I've played this game since day one, I love this game, if you are watching this and you like this game and you play this game, you know who I am. I hope you guys like the video. Put some comments in there. Let people know this game isn't this trash that everyone says. And uh, yeah, that's my little my little thing on War Z. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I love you all. And uh, alrighty, take it easy. Peace.